Hello everyone. Today I'm going to talk about some special attributes about AE and access control policy. So first of all, AE. Um, AE has several special attributes, and some of them are um, assigned by the system, and some of them are provided by the customer. So AEID is an attribute that is assigned by the system. So when we create an AE, we cannot include an AEID, but we can, uh, uh, we can know which one will be AEID in the database. So in our example, uh, first, if we create an AE, with resource name, we will use the resource name as our AEID. If we create an AE without resource name, the AEID would be the a region value in the headers. So the AEID is the region. And the next one is app ID. This one is mandatory. So the customer must provide the app ID when creating an AE. So this one is mandatory. And app name, this one is um, optional. Point of access. This means that uh, when another resource wants to connect to this AE, we know that which IP address, which IP address in this AE belong to. So point of access, this one is a list, and we can put the IP address of this AE inside the point of access. And another one is request reachability. Um, this is a boolean value. We uh, we can set this to a true, so other resource can reach this resource AE. And content serialization. Uh, it is a list, and it is optional. We can put either. Uh, we can put XML or JSON inside this list uh, to tell others which format this AE supports. So this is resource AE. Now let's create an AE. So in our example, we will create an AE with app ID. This is mandatory. App name, this is uh, optional, just like the label. And uh, this one is resource name. Resource name will also be AEID of this AE. And uh, request the reachability. In our example, we set it to true, so the other resource can reach to this resource. And point of access, uh, we just put an IP address. So let others know that which IP address it can be contact with this AE. This is just an example. So we create an AE. And in the response payload, again, we only return the value that is assigned by the system. So anyone in the payload here will not be shown in the payload in the response. And there are some headers. We can check the information. 2000 means OK. Now, uh, some of them are mandatory. If we are not include the mandatory attribute, 
the LTDM will reject the request. So for example, the request reachability is a mandatory one. If we forgot to include the request reachability, the IOTDM will return an error message. So, request reachability missing. Uh, also, app ID. If we do not include app ID, the IOTDM will return an error message. App ID missing. So, that's uh, resource AE.